Hi and welcome to Money Machine. My name is Ariola Jerome, and today we'll be looking at uh, image annotation on Luma Tax. I want to thank everybody that has subscribed. If this is the first time of um, visiting this channel, please do subscribe and like the video. So we are looking at image annotation this morning. Today, all right. So, let's get started. So, we're in the training. I'll try as much as possible to explain everything to us. All right. Um, there are about five kinds of annotation. We have the we have the boss kind of annotation. We have the line annotation, polygon annotation. Point annotation and eclipse annotation. The box kind of annotation is in the form of a box or let's say a cube. Let's say a cube. Then then down the line is just like a line. Then we have the eclipse. The eclipse is in a cycle. It's like a cycle kind then we have points just to point some places okay so we're going to we're going to look into that briefly okay this tax pay more than um, categorization tax it doesn't need much from your computer um, it's easy to learn and if you give it high quality you have much pay more payment okay So before starting on doing this task, make sure to read instructions because instruction differs. Um, instruction differs. There are places you are only asked to annotate what is visible, and in some other you are asked to annotate uh, the estimate object size. And we have the brightening tool. Well, can brighten, um, brighten and contrast. These are the two. We have the zoom. All this we, I will show us when we get to the tax. So sometimes we have images that are done in the night. You can see this. So when you brighten it up, you feel it here. You see it here. And then this is the zoom. See to check around. It's good to zoom and to give it a good annotation to be able to draw your your annotation very well it's good that you zoom in then we have um label labels and um attribute after you draw the next thing to do is to label then you can give the attribute All right, they're asking us what is important on this tax. Read instructions before you start. You get a good look at the image. Yes, using zoom, contrast, brightness, and hiding to fill out the annotation questions in the right side. That refers to the label and attributes that will ask this. So refer back to the instructions. Check again if it's okay with the instruction, and then we'll continue. Okay, they're reminding us about the rules again. Okay. 
Okay, annotation rules. Look at what I was saying. In this video, is the estimated object is marked. Okay, if you mark just the visible, you'll be wrong. And in this stack, only the visible is allowed. So you must not mark what is not visible. And then they have um, some rules that has to do with pixel. Some say it must be 15, more than 15. And some say it must be more than 20. So pixels also matters. Then we have the ruler to check the pixels. So that's what this one is been it's been measured here. See the pixels of an object. Then extremities, some um, some tabs will want you to eliminate extremities, extremities, or some tabs may want you to um, add them to it. Okay, I think we'll see that clearly. All right, this guy is just zoomed. In now, uh, this is a box. You just go and you drag over it. You click on the box, go and drag over. Then, this is a polygon. Point by point, you hit a polygon until you are through with it. Then, this has to do with points. Choose the correct labels and attributes depending. Good instructions. So there are various um there will be various labels. Just make sure you choose the right one and attributes when you're doing your tasks. Okay. Double check the step. Double so check your work. This step is key. When you are true, check your work again before you submit your tax. Alright, this is box annotation. This is polygon. Polygon make it possible to annotate all kinds of sizes. And there's something called um, fraction. Where is it? Auto subtraction. These two draws polygon that are right next to each other and follow the exact same edge. So we have polygon fragment 2. This is the same car. So you just have the fragment, add fragment, and then you draw. Because this has divided, this object has divided it into two. So this for polygon and um, the box. In the box you just draw. The polygon you use points to do it. And then we have um, the point, just like you can see, you can just the point, just annotate, annotate what is there, and give it a label. Okay, this uh, this was this. Okay. There are points in between. This is one point, this is another point, this is another point, and this is a fourth point. Depending on the instructions of a project, that's how you give the point. <laughs> then we have a um, line annotation. This this lines it doesn't mean it's just a straight line. You can put points to make it a uh, to make it accurate when annotating. Okay. 
for instance we have this set point snapping second of all like that so we have another tool that helps us to hide labels so that we can see clearly after you have um, annotated some tags some tags will be covered some objects will be covering others you have to hide labels so that you can see through so this tool is good for that hide label um, we have we have a uh, hide annotation too and this is the eclipse eclipse tool it can either be used a cycle oval or spherical anyone you want to use it for okay okay so we have this um all right so this cobalt geometry is a kind of a three dimension a 3d dimensional annotation on a two image that is represent the shape and direction of the object the difference between this is that it has a shaded part just like we're looking at in the 3d tags the shaded part is the front of the object where the object is facing so in a 2d text we can have shaded parts where we call this the the front of the object okay in this place it is called keyboard geometry all right in this place called keyboard geometry So we have our first scenario here. And um, So from here we are asked to annotate the missing if this were part project you know you would need to read the instructions right we're only testing how well you learn the tool so we'll tell you exactly what you need to fix annotate only the missing pedestrian shown below okay this is the person we are to annotate this is the pedestrian so we're going to look into it so we're going to start with all the tools by my right hand side so that we can um grab them then will not do the project will not do the scenario all right this is rotation it helps rotate you can use a shift equals to okay or shift uh, minus okay this is brightness i don't want it like this i want it okay this way this is contrast you can need some little contrast here this is image color oh i don't use this tool often i see what it does the first call then we hide annotation so when we hide annotation all the boxes disappears okay height labels we can put on annotations okay so when we height labels now just the names that disappears the boxes still remain hide the fourth layers i don't know how this to work okay the original image this is the image that's to reload 
reset visible annotations same paint this is color mm. this is color you can use a specific color for a particular image okay i think uh let me let me make this thing so i can see this I see the color of this pedestrian um, I think is orange when I'm going to be annotating this uh, particular pedestrian it's going to be the same color it helps us to be able to identify um, groups of a particular object for instance pedestrians okay I think um, pedestrians and stuff like that okay pan zoom this ruler like we said it's used for measuring so we we'll see that this 46 uh pizza and 293 pizza we don't need that anymore. This will not disappear. Minimum size cursor, cursor coordinate, annotation selector. So we have only one thing here we have the box, and that is what we are going to use for this project. So we draw a box around on this pedestrian. Then the next thing to do is to label is a human it's a pedestrian it's not right now you see it has changed to orange the same color with the woman this helps us to quickly reach out to some objects so what we have to zoom this image to make sure that um, it's fine you can just press your plus key on your system to be able to zoom you see there's some more space here so we need to bring it down there's another space here and there's another space here so that's why it's very important to zoom okay um, you can also use your alt keys to push uh, what you're working on push it up or downward I guess you can also see that there's a little difference here too all right so we are done we're going to okay say is it occluded it's not truncated a little bit occluded when it comes to the leg and this that should to one that's what the answer is Sometimes something like this, um, what happened just now that I had to cancel may happen. Um, if you are sure of your tax, sure of what you've done, you just need to cancel and then continue. So we're continuing on our course. So we have another scenario. What they're asking us to do here is to 
and I treat this missile, this missile now, vehicle, a motorcycle. So let's go to the, the scenario training. So we only have the polygon and the polygon art source subtraction. So we we'll click on the polygon. You know, this is a kind of annotation. And then another thing is to zoom in. So it's not just a regular project, you have to zoom in and get it back. This is where I want to start from. We are most times careful not to you can press back speaks. When you feel you've made a mistake, your annotation, I just I want to let me zoom in a little bit to make it faster. Uh -oh. You can use as many points as possible just to make sure you're on track. Not yet. You should change the brightness a little bit. No. Right. Thank you. So.
I think we have to be more careful in this place, huh? Let's zoom in. Uh, we can
just like I said, take time or take a little time. Should be done in a few minutes. So keep it, keep changing the, the brightness so that you can see clearly. to see something. Okay, I'm just trying to find the other shirts. Keep it down. Oh, I'll just take it anyhow for now. Okay. And 
get to use measure from here. Let's do that. Let's do a nice curve here. Let's confirm if that is his hand. So that's still our bicycle.
I just assume it is a pickup truck is outside, so I'm going to look for pickup truck. So we, we passed the test already. And, um, so this does not mean we start uh, having um, This does not mean we start having. This does not mean you start having um image and attention tax. This is just uh, the beginning of image annotation, and so uh, in the next uh, few, we begin to do just one after the other. I'm going to be doing image segmentation as the next video. It might be this evening. Maybe today or tomorrow, we're going to get the image segmentation. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking the videos. And please join the Telegram group. God bless you. See you some other time.